Are you ready to see a different hairstyle other than my beautiful bouncy curls? Me too. I'm not gonna lie to you, in a weird way, I'm super, 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 super ready for um, another protective style. And I think I'm just gonna get cornrows. Yes. <laughs> so stay tuned. Hey, it's me. I'm JAC, Drew Master JAC. And I don't know if I'm going to give you an intro or not, but this is hair porn. And as y'all told y'all before, I always do my porn, um, hair porn a little early because things happen when it comes to a protective style. I am about to get my hair protective style into probably braids. And I'm going to talk about my experience right after. Now, I'm going to show you all the products and stuff like that actually on after, not the before. But, well, I almost can actually. I'm going to be using this as my styling product right here. I'm going to try my best to have this as my only styling product. And I'm using utensils, as you can see. And last but not least, this product line that I'm going to be using more likely will be this line right here. Yes. Um. Yes, I have my bag right here. And this is just, this is how I woke up. I just sprayed some... <laughs> Um, I have some aloe vera juice in my hair right now, as you can see. I don't know if this will be used. And then when I get home, I'm gonna make up a mix for my um, <laughs> for I'm gonna make up my um oil mix, which I'll show you how I do that. So I may give you a double feature tomorrow um for hair porn if I talk real fast. But all in all, try to stay woke, try to get woke, and I'll be back with you with the final results. One, two, three, hair porn, <laughs> hair porn. Don't you want? Hey, um, I'm back. This is the final result. And as you see, I wore this shirt to get my hair braided. Now, he did, the guy I went to, this is like my normal go, this is my go-to person. And we actually stretched my hair a little bit more. So technically, this is probably the neatest my hair has looked in a long time. As far as like braids. I got cornrows. And for those that are wondering what are cornrows. <laughs> cornrows are kind of like... I've learned this really recently that what cornrows are, it's like, if you look down, it's like fields of corn and the straight lines that it fields of corns has. So that's what cornrows stand for. But table people say braids. I call these cornrows, I've always been calling these cornrows since I was younger. <laughs> and as you look from the side, and you look on this side, and that's the hairstyle. Now, what did I use? That's the more important part because this is hair porn. And you gotta always tell you what I'm obsessed with. I've used first this, <laughs> my, this is going through some better days. This is the Red Palm Oil and Cocoa Butter Detangling Shampoo. Shampoo, and then I can use the conditioner, which, this is the conditioner, um, the same Red Palm Oil and Cocoa Butter Leave-In or Rinse Out Conditioner, which is really great. I tell people all the time, this is really funny because I only use it as conditioner, but I needed some extra moisture because, no lie, we did a little light blowout. It was supposed to be another situation, but I have forgot one important ingredient. And then I have this. This, you know, I know my bag right here. This is the Strength Restore. This is Shea Moisture's. Alright, gotta get gotta let it catch the light. This is the Strength Restore treatment mask. And yes, I said it's like a few times, but I love this mask. This mask is like my heaven. And how did we style it? I use this, the styling smoothie. This is the Shea Moisture <laughs> Drink Castle Oil Strength and Restore Smoothie, which y'all know I love this. That's one of my bays. And for my styling, for what I've used to, and I just put it down. Hold on, let me reach. We use this to help this angle, and we use this to help braid. I have my blow dryer, which I actually took out because I really didn't realize that I was gonna talk about my hair being blow dried. But I really just had light heat on my hair. Every once in a blue moon, I do allow that to happen. But my hair was supposed to get trimmed. I left my I left my scissors at home, so that's why that didn't happen. And that pretty much is it. Um, to me, it's more obsessive. I love braids. This is a protective style. No lie, it's weird to say this. 
I'm so used. This is like a, this is like one of the go style go to styles before I was ever natural. I used to have braids all the time, and every now and then I was like braid envy a few days ago, and I was like, I want braids. So I got them. <laughs> and as you see, it's really they're bigger, but this is really weird to say to all y'all out there. I love my braids this big. I've always been telling people straight back is like the way to go. It's more classic. People that love design, if you're a design person, cool. You do that. But as far as I'm concerned, I like that I'm just, it's just like this. And if you want to notice the back pain time or not, I do. It's back there, but he had tied it. I think he braided them together. Yeah. <laughs> it's different. But um, that's pretty much it. And 